can we have our next quotation on the yes. subject of ego, please? I myself consider myself the most powerful figure in the world. Once again, it's one of Rupert Murdoch, Lady Gaga or Idi Amin. The way it's phrased, it sounds like a Lionel Bart sort of Oliver the Musical. <laughs> I myself consider myself... <laughs> 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 it sounds He's the artful of... dodger when he discovered cocaine, wasn't he? He, just, <laughs> he got all self-centred. I consider myself the most powerful girl in the world. <laughs> That's exactly the voice I had in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I said Lionel oh. Bar. Wow. Finished that. I bet that's a cliffhanger. Yeah. <laughs> it's all in the elbows. Yeah, the got voice. His song stars. <laughs> David, I want to ask you, because you're from Birmingham, did you never come out of character and sort of go, what do you fucking mean he's going to blow himself up? <laughs> I got rid of my Birmingham accent on my first day at drama school. Yeah, I know. When mine le left me, I thought my... <laughs> I thought my identity was just lost. How did you, how did you get I went back accent? to the poor people and I said, talk to me, I need to talk to you. <laughs> talk to me again. <laughs> you're doing a bit... It's a, it's a man of a thousand voices. <laughs> so who do you think said this? Who's most likely artful dodger out of Rupert Murdoch, <laughs> Lady Gaga <laughs> and Lady Armin? <laughs> yeah. David, we're going to go for Rupert because, despite the other two, I can't see... I know he was quite big in Uganda, uh, <laughs> which is quite a good singer. Sing like, so, song, though, yeah. So, <laughs> but, but I think he would say something like that. He would genuinely consider himself to be that important. I think Lady Gaga, she's, she's culturally incredibly important and she knows it. OK, those are your answers. Well, they're both wrong. The answer is ah. Idi Amin. <laughs> Amin invited himself to London six months after coming to power. Over coffee at Buckingham Palace, the Queen asked him, tell me, Mr President, to what do we owe the unexpected honour of your visit? Uh, any idea what he replied? You can't just turn up. You can if you're president of Uganda. <laughs> Did he try and propose to her or something? <laughs> Did he proposition her? No, he said, to explain his visit, in Uganda, Your Majesty, it is very difficult to find a pair of size 14 shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Did he think she was running Clark's? <laughs> I don't know. I suppose he was thinking, I'll pop in on my way to Clark's. <laughs> Do you think he was flirting? Because there's a thing with big feet and that being, you know, people thinking that you might have a large... Why is this just being addressed to me? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> did you see right next to me, um, Did yeah. he flirt with... Was he saying, I've got I size 14? There. I don't I've know. Size... Well, if I said to you... I don't know, Jimmy! Uh, <laughs> I wasn't there! I'm I don't gonna know try what he's now. trying to do. I'm going to try now. If I said... Why? It's, di <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult I'm to find... Here. I'm here to quiz about quotations, not to go through this psychodrama with you. <laughs> Is it... You're so close to me. <laughs> here, why? Why? Why are you hoping will come of this? <laughs> Nothing's going to come of this, Jimmy. <laughs> can you see how far back I'm leaning? <laughs> this is as far back as I can lean. I don't like this moment. <laughs> about it. <laughs> no, no, stop the moment. <laughs> Why can't this stop? Can this not stop? I think I should stop. Yes. 